Hello everyone. Today marks the final day of the baseball season and therefore the official end of summer. Uh, hi, this is Tom King and this is your Prairie Rico Energy in 60 seconds. This week, the Junta announced that it had uh, looked to finalize a reduction in the debt of the state of Puerto Rico. Uh, headlines varied, uh, but again, it depends which statistics they were looking at. Uh, the overall face value of the debt looks to be reduced somewhere in the region of 30 to 33 uh, percent, but uh, others had reported 60 percent, not to be confused, but when they were looking at 60 percent, they were actually looking at the debt service reductions, so that the amount that the government of Puerto Rico will have to pay every year to service its debt is about 40 percent if it would have been in the absence of a debt deal. In regard to the energy system in Puerto Rico, there have been a number of outages this past week in the wake of Tropical Storm Karen, uh, maybe or maybe not related. Uh, PREPA seems to be pointing the finger at times to uh, Ecoelectrica, which is the uh, private group that uh, generates uh, electricity with uh, natural gas today uh, on the island. Um, the the other thing to look for coming up, uh, great news for the Fundacion Morincana. I hinted at this uh, last week, week before. Uh, we have uh, received a sizable grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, to start a program to work with local groups and companies to develop their projects and access capital for them in Puerto Rico. You'll find out more about that. Very exciting. Uh, we will, of course, uh, be looking to raise more money uh, directly for the cost sharing requirements associated with this grant and to get that underway. We expect to be able to uh, accomplish this in process by the end of the year and we look forward to getting that program underway early next year. Thank you very much. This is Tom King, and this is your Puerto Rico Energy in 60 Seconds.